Hi, my name is Jazz, and I joined KVX my freshman year. Hi, my name is Tammy, and I joined KVX my sophomore year. Hi, I'm uh, I'm Tatsuya Koch, a senior at KVX. I joined KVX in my freshman year. My name is Nicholas Airhorn, and I joined KVX in freshman year. Uh, I actually knew one of the upperclassmen that was previously in this program. I knew him since childhood, and he really helped me get into this program by telling me it's cool you should join, you can ask questions, we have fun, it's pretty nice. And I was tempted. I joined Keybikes because the morning bulletin intrigued me and I figured it'd be a good place to make friends. I joined Keybikes mainly because my friend was in Keybikes, a couple of my friends were, and I was interested in photography my freshman year a lot. So I joined mainly for photography which is funny, because that's not what I'm doing now. <laughs> I had one buddy come into high school from my old school. I was a young chap. And then Luke met my buddy, because he was interested in doing uh, broadcasting, like an anchor similar. And so Luke told my buddy, I was like, you get a team together, some friends, and you're gonna go out to sport game, sports games and be like a, like a reporter on field. That was gonna be really cool. So Alpha Productions was originally me, Naz, Gerald, and Josh, all of which are no longer here. Very rude, by the way. Hi, my name is Nazarice Brown, and I joined KVX my freshman year, 2019. I originally joined KVX because of a friend. He's not here anymore. And it was kind of a, if you do it, I'll do it situation. In the beginning, it was kind of like really chill and people would like play games and stuff. And then over time, we got more responsibility as a club and had to like strict, get more strict in the things we do. Hi, my name's Wei, and I joined KVX in my sophomore year. Usually, I join KVX for a look. Because <laughs> I see you, I feel this room is that Popo's come in, and Nick talk, talk about this room. What are we doing here? So I think it's interesting and the worst they be here for other club. Best club in this school. My sophomore, I'm doing the broadcasting and uh, for a recording model bulletin in the back room and for live stream, usually. Not right now though. <laughs> I started off KVikes as studio op, so I helped make morning bulletin because I was too scared to get in front of the camera. And then junior year when we went online, I grew enough confidence to anchor because it was just me in my bedroom and I figured that like wouldn't be hard. And senior year, I am catering officer and occasionally anchor if I have time. Um, my overall experience at KVX has been very enjoyable. Honestly, like going into it, I didn't see, like I didn't find too much like common ground with a lot of the members but then i guess as time went on like it just made me more social hello my name is joseph gardner and i joined kvx the beginning of my sophomore year jazz is the lesser twin jazz is <laughs> my twin sister and uh the reason i joined kvx and yeah cool so that makes you the what twin that makes me the better twin sorry i don't make the rules it's, i'm sorry <laughs> my name is Ashton Gakayan, and I joined KVikes in my sophomore year. Uh, I was actually recruited. I was I, I, I was near my brother, and uh, my brother introduced me to someone named Luke. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my sophomore year, I joined KVikes, and I became a part of broadcasting. Immediately, I was, uh, I guess selected and chosen to be a, a commentator for girls volleyball during their season. And then I eventually moved on to commentate for uh, basketball during the winter season. And I was happy to do that. And in the beginning of the second semester, I remember asking Brandon if I could reach out and start doing, start anchoring for the morning bulletin, which I was happy to do. I remember just asking him, I was so nervous to start off. Proud of myself for reaching out like that. Um, it's hard to choose a favorite memory from K-Bikes because there is a lot, 
But one of my favorite memories, now that I think about it, it's making me laugh because it was um, summer of, I think, 2019 or 2020. So we did a Hiki No challenge. And I think in the 2020, their previous senior thingy majiggy, Leilani mentioned saying my name multiple times, like Naz, Naz, Naz. So one of the reasons was me and her, we would like laugh a lot. And it'd always be started by me, like laughing at the randomest things, like her just speaking would just make me laugh. And it was, it was so funny. My favorite memory, when I got to watch Sonia anchor, like, I don't know why I was just watching her anchor. It was pretty like, I don't know why it's like my favorite memory, but she's just, like a really good anchor. She's like very inspiring. And I'd say like a favorite memory from this year would be the Wrestling Biff's live stream. When I went out with a few of the members to go live stream for wrestling and we stayed out for a while. It was fun. Most scary remember is that we have working the stadium for the football filming. Big stadium. Cause that's the first time I've been there. It's next to my home around like a five minute, but I never go. And then we have do a lot of things that stay for a long while with multiple people. Oh, memory, Maddie, Jody, Shane, uh, everybody there. They're gone. And I will be gone too. Uh... One of the projects that I did in K Vikes was the Cult of Hinano. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was a cult of <laughs> Yunano. Oh, <you> know. <laughs> Luke wasn't here, so there's just a bunch of kids with like very wild imagination and like pretty much stuff that Luke would typically say, hey, don't do that. Well, Luke wasn't here to say, hey, don't do that. So we did a lot of stuff. We filmed like a whole video and everything. You should watch it, it's very entertaining. It was, uh, it was Makana who really led that video and it was like kind of like the creative mind behind that and everything, kind of filmed everything, got the camera were rolling at the right spots. We would walk into the room and Makana would go up to us and be like, do you want to participate in a video? And we'd be like, sure. So he tells us about it and it's a funny little skit. So we'd all get into it and it ended up in creating some weird moments where you'd walk into a room and you'd just see all of us bowing down and chanting secret tunnel. <laughs> It's those kind of memories that truly stay with me because it shows uh, KVIX is chaotic but then the other memories of when we're at the live streams show that we do know how to def define when to work and when to play and we're pretty extreme in both. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Jade Arthur and I joined KVIX my freshman year. Everybody was swarming me and they were like, Kenzie, you should join KVIX. I was like, what? What's KVEX? And they're like, KVEX is really awesome. And I was like, okay, I'll join. And then I never went to any of the meetings, which I like kind of regret just a little bit because it's a really fun place. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jordan Arthur and I joined KVEX in my sophomore year. <laughs> I joined KVEX because my sister was talking about like, oh, it's such a great place and I enjoy all the people there. And then a lot of my other classmates started joining and I was like, I'm gonna follow along for the hype because it seems cool. I think because I was in a lot more other clubs, I always tried to make it to broadcasting so I could at least do something. I did a bunch of things. I just did whatever someone asked me to do. <laughs> Originally, I did Hikino in middle school. And then at that point, I had stopped and it wasn't until I joined K-Vikes that I continued doing Hikino. But there was one story that we did with my twin sister and her horse. Uh, Jasmine texted me asking for help and I was like, yeah, I don't mind, I'll help. And, and I told her about my story about horseback riding. She's like, great, we're gonna use it. And I was like, okay. I saw them working on it and I said, hey, can I hop in on this project? And everybody's like, yes, we need the help. And so I think the best memory from that one was my sister couldn't remember her lines. So I'd be sitting on a log trying to read her her lines because she didn't remember it at all. And I was like, this girl doesn't remember her lines. Messed up. <laughs> I'm gonna stick behind the camera from now on, which is okay.
My advice for the current members of K-Bikes is to keep trying. Um, a lot of the stuff that we do here can get really overwhelming sometimes and it can be a lot sometimes and you kind of just want to give up. Um, especially when something you do the first time doesn't come out the way you wanted it to. But don't be afraid to ask for help and keep trying because you can only learn and get better from there. Just do your part. If Luke asks you to do something, I recommend just doing it and if you don't know how then there is many people that you can ask for help. Um, don't be like, don't be lazy and just come to K-Bikes for like the free AC or the snacks or just to like sit around and do nothing. Learn everything and take advantage of the opportunities that K-Bikes gives you. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Um, Luke may be very intimidating, but if you have a genuine question that you want to know the answer to, Luke will help help you answer that question and guide you to get the answer. And if you're really passionate about it, show that you have passion for filming, because Luke will kind of get, start to incorporate you in a lot of more stuff and put you in scenarios where you can expand your horizons. So definitely listen to Luke and definitely step out of your comfort zone and try new things. Don't be afraid. We, we're all pretty fun. We all get along. We have different energies. We all match because we all have a love for K-Bikes. So even if you think you won't match or you think it'll be too much work, you can then only come in every now and then as well, just to kind of quench your thirst. It's something that you should just try out, see if you like it or not, because we won't ever be mad, like extremely mad if you leave. We'll understand but we do want you to at least try it out before you say no. Because it's, it's fun and it really does help out. It makes you feel like you're a part of something and you belong. Just be you. Involve yourself and learn new things. Don't be like me. Learn how to edit and hold and operate a camera. You're, you're gonna regret it if you don't. Trust me. Just remember, we're here, we take a charge of responsibility. Everything you have to do is connect to us, and we are connect to you. We are helping you, and you helping us. We need your help. Just keep up the good work. I'm like so proud and happy with the way the program is being run right now by all the students and the advisors together. Uh, everyone has such a big role and everyone seems so passionate about what they're doing inside of KVEX and I'm very happy about that. I wish I got more involved during my first two years in KVEX and I'm so happy that everyone is so involved and appreciates the space that we have and the things that we're creating here in KVEX and all the current members, good job. I'm so impressed. All of you are going to do so amazing during your next years in KVEX and beyond. Get involved. Get involved as much as you can because the more you get involved, the more you'll learn, the more you'll grow, not only in tech-wise and camera-wise, but also personally. You'll grow a lot. You'll meet people that, from all walks of life that you never knew like where they came from, and you'll meet them, and you'll basically humble yourself and become more empathetic, and yeah, so get involved. And for the future members, come join us. We're in the family, and we learn, we study, we are meeting something new, something you never do in your life. It's interesting and it's worst. We'll come here. Join us in the KVEX.